welcome to a January and Boxing Day sales haul. I'm going to show you all the things I've been picking up in the sales over the last few weeks. It's very random, super miscellaneous. We've got clothes, books, beauty, bridal, bag and a hair accessory tech thing to show you, some pyjamas, some other things that I've just been finding over the last few weeks and I thought I'd bundle it all together and show you. It's been ages since I've done a video like this where it's just a real mix of stuff. So grab your cup of tea and if you're new around here, hi I'm Brogan, I make travel, home and lifestyle vlogs. I'd love it if you would click subscribe and we're just going to go through. It's kind of like show and tell, you know when you come back from shopping and you'd show your mum everything you bought, it's kind of like that or your bestie sat on your bed and you're like these are all the things I got. Here's what I'm gonna show you. Let's go. First thing I got was this jumper from The White Company. I don't think I own any clothes from The White Company, but I was out shopping with a friend. We went for lunch. We, we walked in there, having a little mooch, as you do. I loved it. I actually bought a really great pair of jeans from Crew Clothing, and I got some books I'll show you, and I showed a few of these things on Instagram already, but this jumper was such a great find. It was originally quite expensive, £129. It was already down into the sale for £64.50, but then they had a further discount on sale stuff, so I ended up paying paying 58 pounds but it's a really beautiful thick white knit and it's the kind of jumper that will be perfect all year round and as I approach my 30s I want to have more items in my wardrobe like this that are better quality that will last me through different seasons that um, wash well and keep well you know so this was one of those pieces that I was very happy to find in the sale the next clothing item I found on next and I have fallen in love with a brand called love and roses I most get them on next I don't know if you can get them directly or other places but I own two of their dresses that I'm gonna pack for the cruise which you'll see in my packing video coming up and when I saw that they had some love and roses dresses in the sale I ran I tell you I was so excited and this is the most brogan perfect London dress date night I love it I can't remember the original price but I paid 17 pound and I'm pretty sure it was like 60 odd so this was such a great thing to find in the sale I think the next sale is amazing the only thing is you do have to sort of sit through it filter down what you're looking for but I did love finding this dress it's so nice and it's got like a I don't know how to describe it kind of like that scuba swimming material if you know what I mean but in the nice way it's very comfortable and I'm gonna get a lot of great wear out of this also in next I wanted a play suit for the cruise and I found this one from a company called Girl in Mind this was 28 pound in the sale I got it in a size 20 always go up in play suits um, because no one wants it tight you know <laughs> but this is so perfect perfect for my cruise can you imagine like in Australia New Zealand or even when we're in Asia on the trip it's all one thing I can dance the night away because it's a little play suit I feel like it's an evening dress but I guess I could wear it in the day what do we reckon is it more day or night or could it be both I really love it though I feel like with a pair of the heels and a little crossbody bag it's gonna look really nice so I was very happy with that find this dress I didn't get in the sale and there's a couple of random things here that maybe I didn't buy in the sale but I thought I'd show you anyway this is from Pour Moi it was 38 pound but again I thought this would be perfect for Southeast Asia comes with a little belt and I really love Pour Moi dresses if you haven't checked them out before I will say I think it's quite expensive for the quality it is quite thin but that's exactly what I wanted because it's gonna be so hot in those countries that we're going to the nice colors on it v-neck little floaty sleeves skater dress bow it's me to a T oh this dress was such a good find this was from monsoon I haven't got this in a hanger because I just wore it this weekend to a piano cruises event but this is a star print dress i'll put a picture of me on screen here you can see me wearing it this was originally i think 120 something pounds and i got it in the sale for 45 and it is so lovely you can wear it with tights i could take it on the cruise and wear it for the evenings i think i will take it on the cruise actually but it's so perfect and comfortable and i felt really good in it and check this one lovely lady came up to me and she was like i love your dress where's it from we got chatting and she worked for hello mag and i honestly was like somebody from a big fashion or lifestyle magazine thought i look nice <laughs> the last clothing things were just pjs so i found these in h&m look at the price for pounds from 15.99 they were the only ones left in an extra large and they are gray with little mickeys on them is this not the most brogan pair of pajamas you've ever seen little pair of shorts like so and i just think these are gonna be great for the, sh the for the trip four pounds 
perfect. I am going to show you some bits from Primark as well, but the only other pair of pyjamas I got were these, obviously not in the sale. These were £8, but they are just lovely little soft shorts from Primark. I always look out for these because they start bringing them in in the springtime normally, but they're part of their love to lounge range and they are so soft and nice. The next item to show you is a bag and I have been looking for a tote bag that I can use on the trip or one that I can just sort of sling on my shoulder, beach bag, that kind of thing. And I had a bit of a dilemma with this because I originally ordered a bigger one that was a large and I really like it, it's navy and I'm gonna use it for my hand luggage. So I'll show you that in the pack with me hand luggage that's coming away later this week. But I also ordered the small after I saw the large and realized it was probably a bit too big for kind of what I need day to day or if we're just chucking in some sun cream and a bottle of water and the camera so I ended up getting two but anyway this one was originally 30 pounds and I got it in the sale for 18 and then I had it monogrammed which was an extra three pound 50. I got 12 pound off of this in the sale and I've just checked and they still have them with 20% discount at the moment not as good as the discount I got but still a good discount but either way it's a nice tote bag and what I love about this is not only does it have my name on it, which is so stinking cute. I've never ordered anything from Land's End before, but it's got loads of pockets. And inside, I'm using it for the gym at the moment, but I don't know if you can see, there are so many different compartments. There's a big bit at the back here, this sleeve that you can put your laptop in, um, and it kind of folds all the way up like that. It's got a zip, which I like to make sure that my things are safe. And you can sling it on your shoulder, which I also really like. So I had to show you that because it's a bit random, but if you see me with this bag in Instagram pictures when I'm on the trip, then you know where it came from. This next item was one that I have wanted to buy for probably around six months. Every time I go to London and I have my hair straight, I normally leave in the morning and don't get back till really late. And there are so many moments where I've wanted to touch up my curls or touch up my hair like this, where it's gone a bit frizzy because I have naturally curly hair. And I really wanted the GHD cordless hair straightener, but I just couldn't fathom the 300 pound price tag. So when it was boxing day, I woke up at 6 a.m. to let Bonnie out. The first thing I did was try and get on the Lush sale, which I absolutely failed at. And then the second was find the best price for the GHD unplugged on the go cordless styler gift set. I ended up finding it on a website called Just My Look and I paid £212 for the sets. It came with a little hairbrush, but it's a really cute little hair straightener that comes in this pouch and it does what it says on the tin. It's a GHD without the cord. So I thought this would be amazing for those trips to London, but also on the plane, we're traveling for two days. I just thought I could touch up my hair. I hope I can bring it on the actual plane, like as in hand luggage, where well, I'm going to, I'm gonna try anyway. But this is just gonna be so neat and great for so many travel trips and bits and bobs that I need it for. This definitely felt like an expense considering how many hair tools I already own, but for my lifestyle and for what I want it for, I really do think I'm gonna love it. This next thing, is a little more miscellaneous but will make a lot of sense if you have got married or you're a bride to be. I have wanted this memory storage trunk from Stackers for ages and I was kindly invited to an event with them at Christmas and I literally said to them when are you bringing back the bride box and they said we don't know it's been really popular we might get a bit of stock you just have to sign up for notifications and you'll be alerted when one comes back in stock so I was like okay I'll do that so when the email came through about two weeks ago saying that they were having a sale but also that this was back in stock I ran it said there were nine left in stock and it looks like they do still have some now but it's not in the sale anymore it's 120 pounds and I paid 106 which is still expensive but look how great this is so it's a leather white trunk obviously and it's got nice gold clips and then when you open it up it really smells of like leather but it's got space to store wedding bits so you can put wedding cards in there mementos you can um, hook like hair accessories or things that you had on your day you can fit your shoes in basically I don't envision my dress fitting in here everything else that I want to store and hoard as a special memory I don't want to just put it in a boring old box so I thought that this was perfect it's got loads of little elastics around the edge so you can sort of store special things I think it's absolutely beautiful make an amazing present for a bride-to-be as well yeah I did get it in the sale either way I will leave it linked I might even use my Cricut machine and put my name on it 
that'd be really nice. <laughs> this was not in the sale, but I know a lot of you have been on the journey with me to finding my bridal makeup that I'm going to be doing myself on the wedding day. And I bought an eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury, which was about the same price as this one. And I have not been enjoying it. The glitters in it and the the eyeshadows are super glittery and pigmented to the point that I look like I'm going on a night out and I wanted something a little more subtle but still a little sparkly and I cannot tell you how many videos I watched and around Christmas lots of makeup artists and YouTube channels and vloggers that make makeup videos were doing videos on like their top 10 makeup or top best palettes and everything and this came up so many times that I just couldn't help myself so it's called Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude Palette and it's beautiful firstly the actual packaging is amazing I hope you can appreciate all the amazing shades that are in here let me come closer there is so many I've been trying it out you can see the ones I've been using but I think this might be the one I use on the wedding day I also really like this this like nice pink. I've been using some of these to blend. I am wearing it today, although it's looking a little ropey at this point, but yeah, it's amazing, but it was 64 pounds. I'll be honest, I don't think I would have been maybe investing in such expensive makeup over the last year if it wasn't for the fact that I've been on this whole journey and I've been learning how to do my makeup better and I have been seeing the value in spending a bit more on something really special like this. I feel like I could get rid of all my other eyeshadow palettes and just have this now. It is so perfect. It's exactly what I need. I love all the shades. This is by far the nicest eyeshadow palette I've ever had and I'm going to feel really lovely on the wedding day using this to do my eyeshadow. So I thought I'd show you that because I know some of you will enjoy seeing it. Speaking of beauty products, I also bought some things on Colour Wow. I have really fallen in love with them as a brand and they had 30% off over Christmas and January. So I bought their cult favourite hairspray, which is great. I bought their dream coat, which is amazing for helping with frizz. And I also saw they had a dream coat for curly hair too. So I bought the curly one which looks like this. The packaging is super shiny. And this is Dreamcoat. And I have a small version. Is it this one? Yeah, which I bought in Sephora in America, which I've refilled from the big one. And I'm gonna take this on the trip with me. But yeah, really love them, 30% off. So each product was around 20, 24 pound, which is still expensive. But again, really fantastic hair products. I'm very happy to have in my life. TK Maxx, I went in to buy a purse because the purse that I use from Kate Spade, it's a tiny little card holder, it's Minnie Mouse, love it. And we are gonna be using currency and cash sometimes in some places, not all, we've got a Monzo card. I've never heard of the brand, Fenella Smith, but I really liked it because it's bright, which I can find it in the cabin or in my bag easily. And when you open it up, it's got the sort of zip for coins here rather than at the back which I like and then a few card slots it's perfect exactly what I need and it was only 14.99 from 36 pounds whilst I was in TK Maxx I also found these hair bands for 6.99 for a pack I bought my friend a blue one as well but they're the ones that everyone uses on TikTok to do their skincare and I've been using them and they're really comfortable I just thought they were cute. I wanted to be like the TikTok girlies. So yeah, I use this when I do my skincare and because it's towel material, you can get it wet and it doesn't matter, but I love it. I also found this Neom, a Christmas essential oil blend collection. So I was just gonna leave it when I saw the word Christmas. I was like, oh, I don't want Christmas scents in my little well being pod the neon one it's amazing but it's not they've got one called precious one called perfect peace and one is called moment of calm and they are just the oils now these are normally about 20 pound each and this set was 45 pound but in tk maxx it was down to 24.99 so i thought yeah this is a steal because i'm basically getting two extras for the price of what i spend on one so that was a great find in the sale because it was one of those things i wasn't actively looking for but you know when you pass and you're like oh actually that's a really good price so that's gone straight in my office drawers ready for when I need to replace my other one I bought two books I've talked about these books so much on Instagram we have a lot to chat about these these are just the cases because I am currently reading Iron Flame and Benji's reading Fourth Wing so we take the covers out just because they're a bit annoying and we don't want to damage them but they were £10 each in no one was £10 one was 11 in Waterstones so they were half price I know the paperback version for Fourth Wing is coming out in March 
March, which I maybe would say hold out for because they are quite heavy. But I have really enjoyed the experience of reading the hardbacks. But anyway, if you haven't heard about these books, they went viral on TikTok. Iron Flame was the third best selling book on Amazon last year and it had only been out for three months and it's essentially um, a five book series but these are the only two out right now fantasy romance it's kind of like Harry Potter with the school element they've got like a college where they learn to be dragon riders there are four different areas you can sort of be in the college it's got battle fights dragons lots of fun romance and en enemies to lovers trope forks proximity um just a really amazing read I stayed up till 1am pretty much every night for like four or five days in a row obsessively reading it loved it it's honestly probably one of the favorite books i've ever read and that's why i've asked benji to try and get into it and see if he'll read it but yeah i've loved it so of course i've gone straight on to iron flame this is not a book review video we're not gonna go into this too much more i would highly highly recommend reading these the next items to show you are some travel accessory pieces and these are definitely on the higher end but because I travel so much, I don't mind and can see the value in investing in great quality travel items because they get used so much. So a lot of you know I love the brand Away, which is the brand we use for our suitcases. I've got a rucksack from them, I've got a bum bag, love them, they are fantastic. And once you know, you know, you can only buy Away luggage on their website directly. They're quite big in the US, not as big here in the UK, but the best. And Benji and I have small, medium and large cases from them, which we'll be using for our trip to New Zealand and our cruise obviously but I wanted to get some more of their accessories so my mum bought me the packing cube set for my birthday or Christmas a couple of years ago and I absolutely love them I love packing cubes I probably got way too many anyway but I figured that I'd get some more of these and get rid of some of my old rubbish ones that I've had for years these ones are amazing but they are expensive but I ended up getting them in the sale they were originally £35 for the set and I paid 28 and it's a set of four and they're just really great and obviously they match my case so I got the packing cube set and then I bought two of the toiletry bags I got the medium and the small the small one I'm going to use for my hand luggage so I'll show you what I've put in here in that video the packing with me part two there's so many things in here but how perfect is this it's definitely more for long haul travel or when i do a small trip i can put makeup in it it's going to be used for all of my toiletries for the long haul flight so perfect love it and then this one the larger one is what i'm going to be using for my makeup i'm hoping i can fit all my makeup in here but i really liked that it had this side where you can put brushes and then on this side it's got a clear zip it also has a pouch inside which is really actually annoying i don't really want that in there because what use does that have like i'd rather it just be one big hole this one was originally 60 pound and i paid 48 so still expensive but you know again i get a lot of use and this one was 45 down to 36 so i definitely had a little splurge on the away suitcase website but i feel like i got some really great things i love them and then lastly on the cheaper end i have this little makeup case which i'm not using for makeup i'm going to use it for hair accessories i already own a black one of this and when i went into primark and saw they had the new version I was like oh yeah I love it because it's got a really great thick zip and it's clear on the top and bottom so when I have loads of pouches full of loads of stuff for this trip I'll be able to see what I've got but anyway this was six pounds and I thought I'd just show you the little bits I bought in here so we have got multi cosmetic sharpener for two pound to sharpen my eye pencils makeup artist tape i was going to try and see if i can do eyeshadow with tape like this one pound fifty never done that before but we're learning we're trying a hair clip was this in a set i feel like this was in a set i use these when i'm blow drying my hair i also got this set for two pound fifty little three pack of little clips to do half up half down a set of three nail clippers for a pound we are always misplacing our nail clippers so i thought get a load more of those and then i also popped into boots to get some clips elastics and normal hair bands because i'm gonna need these we always lose these don't they i should have got some bobby pins too to be honest but i'm gonna fill this case with all these beauty bits so that's everything i've picked up over the last like four five weeks it is very random but i hope you've enjoyed seeing the kind of things that i've been finding
planning and buying and treating myself to because I'm away for my 30th we're going to be at a sea day I did allow myself to sort of get those extra little luxuries that are going to make me feel good that I can take away the hair uh, straightener some nice new books and those travel accessories I kind of felt like to me from me oh and I've got that amazing trunk to put my bridal things in so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it I'll leave links to anything that I can still find or is available below leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite item was that I purchased that you might like to get yourself or you just thought was a good buy or find and hopefully I'll see you again in my next vlogs thanks for watching bye